ますが、まあ、特にここの。Hisaya Okazaki is a member of a team from China and Japan studying Hutu fortresses. On the 26th of August 1945, as it was being reduced to rubble, a Japanese soldier escaped through a secret exit in a bunker and survived. That soldier was Tetsuo Okazaki, Hisaya's father. After the war, this same soldier sought to uncover the crimes of the Japanese buried in the ruins for almost half a century. He wrote the secret record of the Hutu War to give people a glimpse of the world that had been known to just a few. Gangchi でまあ、それを明らかにした最初の人間としてやはり古都要塞やそれを含めた多くの要塞の悲劇をやはり知ら,しな知らせなければならないと、まあ、父が死ぬ時にそう,いうそういう話を聞いてねやっぱりこれは若い人があ若い人とか、まあ、私たちは戦争を知らない世代はねやっぱ伝えていく必要があるんだなと思ったんですね。Puto is located on the mountain of the same name. It's in the Wanda mountain range and faces the Usuri River. The landscape here is said to resemble a lying tiger. Dumnogorsk is one of the key military bases of the former Soviet Union. It sits across from Huto town, separated by the Usuri River. Staged by rogue Japanese soldiers, Northeast China was seized by Japanese expansionists. They ultimately wanted to expand their control of East Asia with an invasion of the Far Eastern region of the Soviet Union. In 1933, the Japanese occupied Hutou, which was considered a strategic position. The Soviet Soviet Union, the m a j o r 一些军事设施，包括伊曼市的西伯利亚东地的铁路桥，在虎头这个五座山头这个丘陵这个高地上呢，一望都能看到。古都の要塞の目的はシベリア鉄道を破壊して、あそこが一番。中国から満州から見たら一番近いんですシベリア鉄道がそれでそこで遮断してウラジオストークとモ,モスクワの方との間を断ち切ると The Japanese military saw Hutou as a spear pointing to the throat of Vladivostok and Usuresk, or ready to pierce the heart of the Primorsky Krai, the maritime territory of the USSR. It was a lifeline for the Soviets and the weakest link in the Trans Siberian Railway. It would be a good bridgehead for an invasion. An extensive marshland surrounded the area. It would be relatively easy to prevent a counterattack by the Soviet army. Thank you. 
，啊，到所以说当被他当一级这个群战以后，他进行虎头要塞、建设啊等等啊，他节约了很多时间。The Japanese army deployed a large force to the China-Soviet border. To make a military advance possible, they spent two years building a railway across the marshland to link Linko and Huto. Construction of the fortress was to be done in secret, so the surrounding area was cordoned off. It was a no-go area, even for Japanese soldiers. Tetsuo Okazaki wrote that the tunnel of the fortress stretched 10 kilometers. Very few people had ever seen any part of it. Even the residents of the area were moved far away. A major fortress was built in Hutou. It stretched across five hills, and Menghu Hill was the main fortification. With Hudun and Hubei as the wings. Hu Shi and Hu Xiao were to the west of Menghu. The main body of the central fortress was 12 kilometers by 6 kilometers. Beneath every hill, there were tunnels reinforced with steel and concrete, making them almost impenetrable. The tunnels were equipped with almost every amenity one could think of. There was the commander's room, soldiers' dormitories, canteens, bathrooms, grain storage, a weapons arsenal, generator, telephone switchboard, a lift shaft, and even a hospital. This fortress was equipped for both defense and attack. The Japanese forces thought of it as a permanent fortress of North China. Menghu Hill was the hub of the fortress and the command center of the Japanese border defense force. Underground, there was a fortress stretching for eight kilometers. Its ceiling was reinforced with three meters of steel and concrete, while above ground, there was dense vegetation. To a casual observer, there was no sign of construction. The enormous cave fortress was linked by a series of corridors connecting every room. The rooms were highly functional and intricately designed right down to the last detail. 我们现在这个房间呢，是这个地下要塞一个发电室
，方圆市这个墙壁上写有这个“住有住有口”啊，“住有口”三个字，因为当时他发电是用的柴油机，柴油机需要燃料，需要油，这些呢就加有“住有口”，是指的这个位置。A reservoir can also be found deep inside the fortress. Ah, not five meters. Ah, below this, this is Mongol Sand Deep Water Reservoir. Two very large water tanks. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about three meters, three meters. Ah, so deep, ah, deep to the depth of about ですから、古東要塞には,は実は非常に特殊な要塞でして、あの最もあの重砲、あの大砲が異常に多い要塞だったんです。で、えー、要塞の中には、えー、まず41センチ榴弾砲という、あのこれは日本陸軍がただ1門だけ、まあ、持った巨砲ですね。In 1941, the Japanese army deployed the 41-centimeter cannon to Huto Fortress. It weighed over 300 tons and was capable of firing 120-centimeter long shells. The cannon was the largest of its kind in the whole of Asia. It took the force a whole month to assemble. From the Japanese port of Kobe, it began its secret journey to Huto. This is the most important part of the 能够达到二十公里，哎，您现在看到的这门弹头，就是这门巨炮，啊、呃，遗留下的这个弹头的残骸。The Japanese army located the large cannon on one side of Mangu Hill. From here, the cannon would be able to target a railway bridge and water tower across the border in Russia. We are now located at the location of the largest Asian war cannon in the world, the 41mm air cannon. This location is approximately 30 meters wide, the depth is about 15 meters. It is the only place that has not been used by Chinese soldiers, and it is located by the Japanese army secretly built a cannon in the Russian border. The massive cannon became the signature weapon of Huto Fortress. It tipped the balance in Japan's favor for control over the Trans-Siberian Railway. Tetsuo Okazaki's book recalls the massive gun turret rising 15 meters above the ground. It was 30 meters in diameter, with a 4 meter thick wall made of steel and concrete. The ground inside the dome was bare, and the cannon itself was complex with instruments, rails, and gears. When we were in the middle of the battle, we found that the Russian army was so big, and the Russian army was so small. We didn't see the Russian army so big. So we can see how big the Russian army was. We can see how big the Russian army was. 我当背的，对啊，对，夏天一一喝酒了，再再喝酒，对的，啊，喝酒呢，строго、啊啊啊啊啊、было, чтобы не не отлучаться.、Uh. Потом, вначале обстреливать это орудие, потом ее вывезли, ну и мы ее ходили только смотреть, потому что она валялась этот ствол. Although the Japanese had lost their momentum, the construction of the Huto Fortress revealed their full preparations for attempting to take control of Northeast Asia. The Japanese army even built a massive arsenal beneath Menghu Hill. This, this is called Fu Ma Kong. 飞马坑就是一般一个大仓库，一个大弹药库，这个坑飞了。这个说你不买火烟给我们吸入，对，买火烟，结果一下一下坑一下坑口，烟幕墙，醒了把这个飞了。整个一个弹药库，这一个山，老高了这个山，因为那山
，整个一下水一下就鼓起去了，就没有了。这几个连银角、马角、车都没着的影，所以这叫飞马坑，这是坑。The Japanese army made every effort possible to prepare an invasion of the Soviet Union. In addition to the 41-centimeter cannon, they bought a 24-centimeter railway gun in Paris and moved it from Tokyo Bay to Hutou Fortress. We are now heading to the 24mm Jianlong Railway Base. Now this place is the train station. 我们现在这个地方就是当时日军存放二十四厘米加农列车炮的地方，当时基本列车炮可以一直停放在前面，在前面是当时日军的休息间，可休息一个中队的日军，右侧是当时加农列车炮存放弹药的地方，基本列车炮可沿着铁路沿线一直通到乌苏里江边，当时洞洞口处就有一条铁道可以一直通到江边上。This large reinforced concrete tunnel was built at the bottom of the hill. Measuring 75 meters in length and 5 meters in diameter, it was large enough to accommodate the train. The facility would allow heavy artillery to bombard the Soviets across the river. So 2 hills to the west of Menghu Hill supported and reinforced the main fortress, but were no less formidable. This is 挂吊床车使用的，那么它有带兵间，为什么还设这种钩子呢？就是在兵员在战事要紧张的时候，它大量的兵员在要塞里隐蔽的时候，就睡这种吊床。那么这里面还有个地下竖井，那么这个竖井啊，那么正常看，它底下还还应该有一层，还应该有一层，嗯。这个就可以看到了，你看这个看得挺醒目了。它这里面啊，应该又是很深，应该说它是下面还有一层要塞，哎、嗯，啊、嗯。Hudong fortification is to the southeast of Menghu Hill. Though small, it once had modern and complete military facilities. Electricity was used for cooking and heat, and the Japanese called Hudun the only modern attack position in the world. The pot is the original pot of the Soviet Union. This pot is very unique. It has two sides. The upper side is the meat, the lower side is the meat. Because the Japanese like to eat meat. 他们这个夹层的目的就是就是说不糊锅底，就相当于我们现在的这个不粘锅，所以说他当时设计的非常先进。我们再往上看，这是他当时的这个一个设计的一个排气孔，这个排气孔也非常有特点。这个排气孔它当时设计的是一种 U 字形的这么一个一个一个排气孔，这个气可以排进去，但是外面的东西你，比如说当时发生战争之后，它的手榴弹呐、毒气弹呐，它进不到这个这个要塞里。不可能直接扔到这要塞里，只能从这 U 字口扔不进来。所以说，就是这整个这一套设备，厨房的这套设备
就是我们现在来看也设计的是非常先进。日本在这个东北地区所的话呢，是吧？建立这些要塞，它的规模还是非常庞大的，设施是非常的话呢，是吧？齐全。它的就是说，它的功能也是的话呢，是吧？在当时来讲，也是非常实用性是非常强的。Huto Fortress was a key military base during the Japanese occupation of China. Following the war, it was preserved as a historic site. A team with Chinese and Japanese members has undertaken several large-scale studies of the underground fortress, revealing a history known to very few. In a, 이기나리선일본のあのね平和なあの町からいきなりそのね骨が散らばるような散らばってまた残ってるようなトンネルの中にね入っていってもびっくりはしますけど。それがどういう意味を持つのかっていうのはなかなかこう私たち戦後世代ですからはよくわからなかったんです。それは見てわかるもので戦争の傷跡を非常に象徴的に示すものです。Modern Huto is peaceful, so it's difficult to imagine that beneath the green valley is a large dark labyrinth built in a desire to swallow the world. Secrets remain hidden. Though the fortress stands empty, its history remains firmly in the minds of the Chinese people. After the arrival of the Japanese in 1932, Sun Wu expanded from a tiny isolated place to a huge military hub. All of this would happen in just 10 years. This highly equipped military facility could hold an army of 100,000 and was as a launch pad for invasions of other territories. It even gave birth to a saying, Big Sun Wu in small Harbin.